I grew up in Texas in the 70s, and our house was filled with family photographs. In albums, on shelves, on every wall. But there was one that always stood out. It was taken in 1912, and it's filled with relatives, including my mom's grandmother. She's only 12 years old here. And I was always fascinated by how she looks in the photo. There was something about her face that was particularly haunting to me. When I was 15, I learned the reason why. Her stepfather was raping her for years. I never could look at that photograph the same way again. I started wondering what our everyday life was like. What took place right before the picture was taken, right after, at the dinner table that night? Did anyone know what was happening to her? Did she tell anyone? Everyone know, but not say anything. This continual abuse resulted in her getting pregnant several times, and she gave birth to my great uncles Charlie and Robert and my grandfather. Although he and I were very close, I was raised by a single mom, so he was my only father figure, he never spoke to me about his childhood, and definitely never told me that his birth certificate was stamped bastard. This was information I would get in bits and pieces over the years. My family thought it best to not talk about bad things. But was it for the best? This is what propelled me to write Unbroken Circle. Even though the characters are fiction, they do all resemble, in one form or another, relatives of mine. For example, the matriarch of the family, Ruby, who has a big mouth and an even bigger secret. Her sister June, a born-again Christian who's studying at Oral Roberts University. And of course, I wrote a role for myself. The sweet-natured but troubled Bobby, who has a precocious daughter, Patty, played by my real-life daughter, the precocious Julie. Yes, the theme is heavy, but there are a lot of laughs, especially at Aunt June's expense. But behind the laughs are the questions I wanted to explore. How do people cope with abuse? Why does it often continue from generation to generation? And what happens when someone speaks out? Does the circle finally break? Join us. Come see Unbroken Circle.